Pika Labs just got a huge update. Previously, videos generated had 8 frames per second, and now you can generate videos up to 24 frames per second. There's also a new animate command that makes it easier to use image references, and much more. The new FPS parameter allows you to set a frame rate between the previously standard 8 frames per second all the way up to a maximum of 24 frames per second. To demonstrate, I'll use the slash create command and prompt for a ballet dancer. Then to change the frame rate, type dash FPS followed by a number between 8 to 24. I'll use 24 to generate 24 frames per second. Then I'll add a few other parameters to control for motion and seed. Add an image reference using the plus one more button and select image from the pop-up menu. Now enter the prompt. A generated video will have 24 frames per second. This is a huge upgrade compared to the previous limit of 8 FPS. Now you can generate videos that are a lot smoother. There's also this new animate command, which generates videos from images without using any text prompts. Instead of using the usual slash create, type slash animate into the Discord bot. This will prompt you to upload an image file. I'll go with an image of a person walking outdoors. You can now directly enter the image as a reference to generate a video. As you can see, Pigot Labs does a pretty good job of moving our person forwards. Of course, you can also add a text prompt if you want. After using the slash animate command, click on the plus one more button and select prompt from the pop-up menu. Let's see what happens if we ask for a bear walking. The silhouette of the person in the video now has the upper body and head of a bear, which is pretty cool. I tested to see if there's any major differences between the slash create and slash animate commands. By using the same video generation speed, it appears that the videos generated are the exact same. It's just that the way of prompting for the videos are different. Another huge update is that Pika now allows up to 10 videos generated per minute. Previously, it was 10 videos generated every 5 minutes. You basically have no more limits on how fast you can generate and test different video prompts. There's a couple of interface quality of life features that you need to know which I haven't covered before. Here I've generated a video of butterflies using a reference image of flowers. The regenerate button reruns your video generation with the exact same prompt and settings. The only difference would be the generation seed, so we'll get a slightly different video of a flower with butterflies around it. The remix button opens up a new prompt box for you to make any changes or fix any mistakes you made in the prompt. I'll conveniently use the remix button to bring up the same prompt as before, with the same settings and the same image reference, and simply change the subject from butterflies to bees. This is an easy way to test a bunch of different prompts, without having to re-enter everything again. Both the regenerate and remix features keep any attached image references. There is also a delete message button to completely remove the video. You'll need to type yes to confirm. Use this if you want to reduce clutter in your workspace. You can immediately access any of these features right after you enter a prompt while the videos are still being generated. Finally, since my last Pika guide, the interface has been updated to allow private messaging with the Pika bot. Inside Discord, navigate to the Pika Labs channel. Click on show members, then find the Pika bot and right click. Then just select message which connects you to the Pika bot privately. The increased frame rate up to 24 FPS is an exciting update. I think it's a big step in the right direction for Pika to be a legitimate competitor to Runway. If you want a more basic guide to Pika, go check out my previous videos. To stay up to date on the latest news, make sure to subscribe and I'll keep you posted.